Hey guys, it's Redemption on it, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed. Last episode, we assassinated the guy in Asa, and now we are going to do the assassination in this place. Is this Jerusalem? It's Damascus. Yeah, we're going to do the one in Damascus, so uh, let's go. Every time I try and get down in these, we always have problems. Right, give me the feather. Give me the golden feather. my friend. Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abu Nakud. Oh, the merchant king of Damas, richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside from the failure and the hatred, yes, aside from those things, I envy you very much. If you're finished, I've gathered the information required to begin my task. You work quickly. Tell me what you've learned. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. This guy knows how to ask us. Cheers, dude. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Press forward on the video player. Strike the Merchant King. Nice. Where is he? 200 meters. Dude, come on. Now there are people on the roof, and there? There's one over there in that area I can't get to yet. Because, uh, spoilers, I don't know how to get there yet. There's a guy over here. Great. Dude, I'm afraid you're gonna die. You could have saw me. Dude, I, fuck it, there we go. I could have avoided him, and he could have lived, but no witnesses. Right, over here. Keep going. Let's keep going. Is it in that giant palace over there? I reckon it is. Yeah, it's right in front of me, so it is. Right. There's a guy over on, the, on that roof as well. Hey, dude, do you want to die? Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on. Fucking climb. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, you clever. Ah, oh, you fuck. I hate you. Ah, oh, fuck you, dude. Fucking climb, man. There we go. I got ten. Come on, I dare you. Bitch. So, what you get? How do we get down? There we go. Oh, hey, guys. Um, Can I get through that? No. Lady, fuck off. I've got no money. I, that wall is rounded. Okay. Oh. Oh, hello. I see. No, dude. Clam, please. Totally wanted to do that. Legit strat right there. There is a reason, dude. I got to I got to climb. I got to kill someone. Oh, right. I see the problem. Can I take out all of them, or not? Can I climb this? I think I can. But do I need to? 
Uh, where do I go from here? That is the question. Where do I go from here? Not up. I don't go up. Right. Strats. Great strat there. Right, where is this guy? Oh, he's in the middle. Is that him? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there he is. How do we welcome, kill him? Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining me this evening. Please eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Hadin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are. I don't stand out much, do I? May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel. Oh, do not feign ignorance. Do you take me for a fool? That I have not heard the words you whispered behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different, just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, Tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you. Mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I pledge myself to another cause. One that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. That guy looks uncomfortable. A pity none of you will live to see it. <laughs> uh oh, we have to get up there. Kill anyone who tries to escape. Up here. Uh, maybe? No, not there. Right. People are just standing round. Uh, uh, up here? Oh, this. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, where do we go? To go round? No, I go up. I go up and over. Of course I do. 
Come on, climb. Please, please climb. Where is he? You dead. Be at peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. That was Why a great kill. Have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad dins cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No. We are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. So I already know the guy who controls him. I'm calling it, it's that guy. Almu, Almu An from the Assassin Brotherhood thing. Our boss, basically. Our leader. It's him. Guarantee it. Calling it. We can't stay here, I know. I would love to stay there, but... I just have to go over here first. Hey, dickhead. Ah, oh, these people, man. Ow! Right in the back. Dead. Motherfucker. If I stay here, I'm gonna get wrecked. Oh my god, come on. Really? Really? You fucking idiot. Uh, can we get up here? Game, please. Game, please. Come on. There we go. God, man, these controls. They don't really respond that good. Right, 100 meters. Or climb. I still think there should be like upgrades or something. This is death. Nearly. Yeah, I don't want to go up there anymore. I want to go up here. Oh, fuck it. For fuck's sake. They're all going to kill me. Can I get up here? Come on, come on, come on. So close to the thing. Rip. I hate you. I fucking hate you, guy. You could have easily caught that, but no. Chicken shit. Come on. There we go. Now all we have to do is make it back to the bureau. Then we're safe. Really? Oh, fuck off. How is that in any way fair? You better fu- oh, fuck you. Come on, come on. Nailed it. You're dead. I got the feather. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. 
I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the Merchant King was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with al Mualim, then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes. We'll see what he has to say. Pretty sure Al Mulan's a traitor, though. Is that it? Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Oh my god. Chiman, the blood of the Merchant King. Nice. Nice. Oh, what? Am I being dragged out of the animus again? I want to get promoted though. Oh. We done already? Get up. Whatever you say, Doc. I'm ending the session. No, I'll be right there. You're sure about this? Yes. No. Everything's Denver. I don't see how he could... Of course. I understand. You're in a lot of trouble, Mr. Miles. Well, What's I do? his problem? They're coming for you. Who's coming for me? Assassins. Hey, I had nothing to do with this. Sounds like they're mounting some kind of rescue attempt. Guess you're more important than you realized. Man, things just keep getting weirder and weirder around here. It was bound to happen. What do you mean? That little fight your ancestors started during the Third Crusade? It never ended. You're being held by Templars. Vidic's a Templar? There's no way you could have known. They hide it so well. But to answer your question, Vidic works for them. We all do. Abstergo is their company. I thought Templars were old dudes with funny hats who sat around drinking beer and plotting world domination with, like, the lizard people. No. Except the part about world domination, I guess. Look, Desmond, it's complicated. Half the stuff they say about the Templars comes from crazy tinfoil hat-wearing nutjobs. The other half is misinformation intentionally produced by the Templars themselves. But they are the bad guys, right? If there's one thing I've learned since I started working here, it's that there's no such thing. It's all so relative. I guess the best way to explain it is, what they want is good. But the way they're going about it, it's bad. Really bad. What are they trying to do? Lucy? Yes. Miss Stilden, I need to speak with you. Get up here, now! On my way, Doctor. Ah, uh, no chat chat. I have to go. You should turn in for the night. But... The answers to all of your questions are right in front of you. You just have to know where to look. What? What do you mean? The answers are nowhere. What are you talking about? Can I talk to you? Why are you still here? I thought he was going. Please, Desmond. I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't leave. And I can't leave until you're in your room. Oh. Why don't you join me? I can't sleep on my own. No? Not biting? Fine. Can I use, like, eagle vision here? Hmm. I don't see any answers. Can I use anything else here? Nope. Nothing. Right, let's go to bed. The numbers. Oh my god. The following morning. How long have we been here now? Four days? Is there anything in the closet? Nope. Is there anything in the bathroom? Was that there before? I don't remember that. Right, there's nothing here. Anything on the desk? Nope, nothing. Are we going back Missed in? You this morning, Doc. Get in the animus. Oh, he's in pissed off mood. Yo, I missed my booty call this morning. 
fine. I need to get back in to do side quests anyway, so it's easier this way. Time to start the program, Desi. Oh my god, look how close we are. Continue. We've got you full sync bars. When faced with multiple enemies to gain the advantage in combat. We we're listening to that. I was uh, listening to the sound of the fact that I have so far got a hundred percent sync bars, so yeah. I trust you are well rested, ready for your remaining trials? I am, but I'd speak with you first. I have questions. Ask them. I'll do my best to answer. The merchant king of Damas murdered the nobles who ruled his city. Mejdeddin in Jerusalem used fear to force his people into submission. I suspect William meant to murder Richard and hold Akka with his troops. These men were meant to aid their leaders. Instead, they chose to betray them. What I do not understand is why. Is the answer not obvious? The Templars desire control. Each man, as you've noted, wanted to claim their cities in the Templar name, that the Templars themselves might rule the Holy Land and eventually beyond. But they cannot succeed in their mission. Why is that? Their plans depend upon the Templar treasure, the Peace of Eden. But we hold it now, and they cannot hope to achieve their goals without it. What is this treasure? It is temptation. It's just a piece of silver. Look at it. What am I supposed to see? This piece of silver cast out Adam and Eve. It turns staves into snakes, parted and closed the Red Sea. Eris used it to start the Trojan War. And with it, a poor carpenter turned water into wine. It seems rather plain for all the power you claim it has. How does it work? He who holds it commands the hearts and minds of whoever looks upon it. Whoever tastes of it, as they say. Then Gagne's men? An experiment. Herbs used to simulate its effects. To be ready for when they held it. Talel supplied them. To me, equipped them. They were preparing for something. But what? War. And the others, the men who ruled the cities, they meant to gather up their people, make them like Gagne's men. The perfect citizens, the perfect soldiers, a perfect world. Robert de Sable must never have this back. So long as he and his brothers live, they will try. Then they must be destroyed. Which is what I've had you doing. There are two more Templars who require your attention. One in Akka, known as Sibran. One in Damas, called Jubair. Visit with the Bureau leaders. They'll instruct you further. As you wish. Be quick about it. No doubt Robert de Sable is made nervous by our continued success. His remaining followers will do their best to expose you. They know you come, the man in the White Hood. They'll be looking for you. They won't find me. I'm but a blade in the crowd. We're not really subtle, are we? Here, my gift to you, in gratitude for the good work you've done. Yeah, brah, it's a sword, I've got one. Yeah, I can have it. Oh my god, one more sink bar left, oh my god. What sword's this? Defense break. You can practice in the courtyard. Um, I'm fine. So we have a memory log, full of stuff we need to do, which is basically side quests, which I love. Um, so anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. Next episode, I will meet you in Damascus, I guess, where we will assassinate the next Templar. So yeah, that's it for this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye.